Welcome! You are watching a Robo Studio tutorial developed at the University of Skövde, Sweden. At the end you will find links to more educational resources. In this tutorial we will look at how to add a virtual controller to a station. In the Home tab in the main menu we find the function for this. It's called Virtual Controller and when we select the virtual controller button we can see that there are three alternatives for adding a virtual controller. First we will look at how to create and add a virtual controller based on an existing station layout. Then we will create and add a new controller from a robot gallery and finally we will choose to add an existing controller to a station. Robot Studio's built-in programming environment allows both online and offline programming of robot controllers. In online mode Robot Studio is connected to a real robot controller and in offline mode it is connected to a virtual controller that emulates a robot controller in a PC and is used for offline programming and simulation of different robot applications. Robot Studio is built around the ABB virtual controller, an exact copy of the software installed in the real robot controllers. This caters for very realistic simulations of 3D robots with robot programs and configuration files identical with those used on the shop floor robots. One of the purposes of creating simulations in Robot Studio is to create a robot program that can be tested, evaluated and optimized before transfer to the real robot controller. We will start with the first alternative to create a virtual controller in the virtual controller function which is to create a virtual controller based on an existing station layout. This function is called from layout. I have already created a project with an empty station I used the function in the File tab in the main menu. Under New I selected Project and I did not include a robot and a virtual controller. It is also possible to use the Station function under File just to create an empty station. If we go back to the Home tab and select the Virtual Controller function we can see that it is not yet possible to activate the from layout function before we can add a virtual controller and create a system from the station layout we need to import and position the desired equipment such as robots, positioners, tracks, tools etc. We can import these from the ABB library in the home tab here we find robots for different types of applications. We also find several standard ABB positioners for both single robot and multi-move systems. A positioner is a mechanism used to hold and position work objects that robots are operating on so that the robot will have better access. For example, in arc welding, positioners are used to reorient the workpiece so that the weld is always performed vertically due to gravity. We also find tracks here. A track is a mechanism consisting of a linear axis with a carriage on which the robot is mounted the track motion is then used to give the robot improved reachability while working with large work pieces. 
there are also some mobile robots. So first we will import a robot. Let's try the IRB4400 robot. Some different versions of it. I select the first one and then OK. And the robot is placed into the station. And then we will add a tool to the robot. We find these in the import library in the home tab under equipment. A bit down I can select an arc welding gun, AW gun PSF 25. In the layout tab to the left I can see the arc welding gun to attach it to the robot. I select the arc welding gun, drag it down onto the robot name and then release. And I answer yes on the question, do you want to update the position of the arc welding gun PSF 25? Yes. And the tool is then attached to the robot's mounting plate. And finally we will also import a positioner. I go back to the ABB library, down to Positioners, and here I select the IRBPA. There are also some different versions here. I select the default one, and we can see that the positioner is placed in the station, a little bit too close to the robot, so let's move it a little bit to the right in the positive x direction. So I right click on the positioner name in the layout tab in the window to the left and go down to position, select set position and for the position x value in the red box let's enter 1500 millimeters we see a ghost image of where the positioner will be placed and then we select apply. And I close the window for set position. And now all mechanisms are in place. We have created the station layout. Then we can go back to the virtual controller function in the home tab and select it. And then we can select from layout. And then the create controller from layout wizard is started. Here we can set the controller name and also the location where to save it. We can also select the desired robotware. Then we select next. Here we see the mechanism in the station. Then next. And here we have the configure the controller options where we have the tasks. The task is the activity that will be performed. Then we select next. Here we have controller options. We can configure different controller options. We have the option to align task frame with the corresponding robot base frame. The base frame is a base coordinate system for a robot and is located at the bottom center of the robot foot and task frame represents the origin of the robot controller world coordinate system in Robot Studio. And if we select the options button to the left, here we can set different options. We find them in some different categories to the left. In this summary section we can check and verify that everything is correct and then we select finish and it will take a while for creation and startup of the system. Down to the right we can see the controller going from red to yellow to green 
and when the controller status bar is green, the system is ready to go. And if we go to the controller tab in the main menu, here we can see the created system. And now we will look at how to create a new virtual controller. First we need to create a project with an empty station. So in the file tab we select new, project, set the name, I have given it new virtual controller, the location where we want to create it, and also do not include a robot and a virtual controller. We just want the project with an empty station. Then we select create. The new project with an empty station is created. Now in the home tab we select virtual controller and then the function new controller. The add new controller wizard then opens. A bit down under create new we first select the desired robot model. Let's select the small IRB120 robot. Then we can also select the desired robotware. If we would like to customize the options, we can select it here. And we can also select if we want to create the new controller from a backup. If there are any existing station mechanisms that we want to use, we should select it here. Otherwise, we select Import from Library and then we click on OK. Down in the right corner, we can see the controller status bar. As the system is created, this will go from red over yellow to green. If the selected robot model has some different versions, we will get the possibility to select it. I select the first one here, then OK. And then the controller system is created. Under the controller tab, we can see the created controller system. And finally, we will look at how to add an existing virtual controller to a station. So first, let's create a new project with an empty station. I give it the name existing controller. And I do not include a robot and a virtual controller. And then I select create. And the project with an empty station is created. I select the virtual controller function in the home tab and then the function existing controller and the add existing controller wizard opens and now I need to select an already existing virtual controller I can select the location here and this is the location where we just created a new virtual controller system. So I will actually use this. It was for the IRB120 robot model system. So I select this robot system. I can also select to import new robot model libraries. And if I want to synchronize repeat programs to the station, I can select it here. And then I select OK. And I select the option here. We can select the second option of robot model. OK. And now the already existing virtual controller system has been added to this station. Under the controller tab, we can see the system that has been added, the one we created in the preceding section of this tutorial. And that's all about using the virtual controller function in the home tab. Thank you for watching.